In today's video, finding your voice as an instructional coach. Hello coaches, welcome back to another 5-Minute Friday from Eduro Learning. My name is Kim and I am the CEO and founder of Eduro Learning. I am also the premium mentor for the Coach Micro-Credential and I have been an instructional coach in international schools for about 20 years. This video has been inspired by both conversations that I'm having with my The Coach participants and my private mentoring clients and a recent conversation that I had with Jennifer Abrams, the author of Hard Conversations, which is coming to Coach Better Season 3, so keep your eyes peeled for that next semester. This topic about finding your voice as an instructional coach is really interesting to me because everyone is unique and no two coaching conversations are identical, even if they're with the same coach. So we build on this concept of finding your voice as a coach inside the coach micro-credential, and it's about finding that comfort level and that confidence in your own way of doing things and the way that works for your colleagues in your coaching practice. As you're finding your voice, you need to move from that level of unconscious incompetence to unconscious competence, and that's kind of what we're talking about here today. So I've got three strategies to help you find your voice as an instructional coach, and it'll be really interesting. I'd really like to hear how you apply and use these strategies. So please leave a comment down below or connect with us in our Facebook group or on social media to let us know how you're using these strategies. All right. Number one is to find some inspiration. And as cheesy as it might sound, I think one of the best ways you can be inspired is to actually be coached to feel and hear and experience what it's like to work with a competent coach who knows how to ask the right questions at the right time. Of course, I'm telling you that because I myself am a coach and I offer private mentoring through Iduro Learning and as part of the Coach Micro Credential, but you don't have to work with me. The idea of being coached will open you up to finding that inspiration in the way that another coach works. Within that realm of finding inspiration, you can watch coaching conversations. You can record and share among your colleagues at your school, your division, your district, and debrief what were things that you loved about the way the coach said this, or how did you know a coachee responded to a specific question or prompt? Be inspired by seeing actual coaching conversations in action. And then a really concrete and super easy strategy is to find sample coaching questions and actually choose a few to intentionally work on. And we've got sample coaching questions inside the coach, and I always give them to my private mentoring clients. And one of my favorite stories is one of my private mentoring clients actually printed out the whole list, laminated, and she's going through and highlighting, these are the questions I feel really confident with in green, these are the questions I'm working on in yellow, and these are the questions that I still have room to grow in red. And she's bringing those laminated cards to her coaching conversations to try to remember, this is the question I want to try to pull into this actual conversation. Which takes me to strategy number two to finding your voice as an instructional coach, and that is to target a new skill to actually write it down and set a formal goal, to decide for yourself that by the end of two months, I want to feel really confident asking this type of question. Or by the end of six months, I want to be able to transition seamlessly between the roles of consultant, collaborator, and coach in my coaching sessions. Or by the end of eight months, I want to be able to reach this particular teacher who doesn't seem to be ready for coaching yet, but I want to really try all of these strategies and see if I can build that relationship. This is also part of the Coach Micro Credential. We have you set a personal goal, and then you work with your mentor to achieve that goal throughout the process. So having some kind of accountability to reach your goal is also really valuable. Once you've set your goal, you can actually plan for it. You can note and label in your coaching meetings when you're going to use specific skills and strategies that you're working on to build that capacity of your own unique voice so that you are intentionally practicing these new skills in your coaching conversations. If you keep agendas, you can also note down 
in that agenda what your coachee said. So you have both your question and the response there. I also have a great story about this from Carlene Hamley, who was featured in our Women Who Lead interviews, who talks about keeping coaching questions on her desk all the time because she knows she's going to have all these different types of conversations and she wants to have lots of different ideas for the ways that she can inspire reflection and conversation with her colleagues. So this is something successful leaders, novice coaches, and experienced coaches, we do all of these things. The third strategy I'd like to share with you today is to purposefully reflect. You can do that by recording your coaching conversations. If you're in a situation where you're coaching virtually, it's super easy to record those conversations on Zoom or whatever software you use. You might even have a colleague come and observe your conversation, or if you're in a face-to-face setting, you can record just the audio with your phone or even the video if you're so inspired. And then after that conversation, you might also want to take notes, to write down what you asked and how you felt it went in the moment, to take a moment to reflect on what you might do differently next time. I know I've been in tons of coaching conversations where I've asked one question and maybe it didn't go quite the way I wanted, so I asked a different question and maybe that helped a little bit, but then I refined my question. And by the end, I had this like perfect question, but it took me a couple tries. So when I write down my reflections, I know that if I'm trying to take the conversation in this place, This is the kind of question that works really well. You might also consider getting feedback from your coachee. I know that I've done a video here on 5-Minute Friday about one question that will transform your coaching practice. And I think asking that kind of simple question, what was the most valuable part of our session today, is a really great way to see what worked for your coachee and maybe what didn't have as big of an impact. If you have such a great relationship with your coachee, you could even ask them specific feedback about certain questions. Like, how did you feel when I asked you this? Or what did it make you think when I asked you this? Or did you notice anything about the way I was asking questions today? Like any kind of opportunity that you have to reflect on the conversation and document that so you have the opportunity to then repeat these things as a habit until you're ready to pick a new goal, until you feel like you've achieved this thing and you're ready to try something new. So my cycle of finding your voice as an instructional coach includes three steps. The first one is to find inspiration. The second is to target a new skill, make it purposeful. And the third is to reflect. I hope that those three strategies make sense for you. If you decide to give them a try, please let us know. Share in the comments here or send us a DM on any of our social media channels or share in our Coach Better Facebook group. I'd love to hear how these work for you and where you're at in finding your voice as an instructional coach. If you enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for watching. You will love the Coach Micro Credential if registration is open for you to join. If registration is closed because we only open once a year, make sure you sign up on our interest list so that you can get info about the coach throughout the year and you're the first to know when registration opens. But you might also consider working with me as a coach for you in my private mentoring program. So you can also find out more about that at our website, edurolearning.com. Also on that website, we've got tons of other great learning opportunities for you, including our Women Who Lead program, our Co-Tail program, our self-paced courses, and our self-paced workbooks. So make sure you check out edurolearning.com for more great learning opportunities just like today's 5-Minute Friday. See you next time.